So it's time for us to explore how to create spherical shapes. There are two ways to do it. I'm going to show you both of them. The first method is going to involve creating half of a sphere and then connecting two of those together to create a full circle. So without further delay, let's get to it. Step one, you're going to want to select the circle shape. Click once, move to the origin, click once, and drag it out to whatever dimension you want it to be. For this example, it doesn't really matter what that is. Just like when we were creating um, the cone and the pyramid, you're then going to want to draw up a vertical line. But this time, if we're creating a spherical shape, it's extremely important that this vertical line mat matches the radius of our circle. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to measure that using the measure tool. Move to the origin where it says center and draw it out till you meet the side perimeter. So in this case, we have a squiggly line and then 98 millimeters. The squiggly line stands for 0.5 of a millimeter, which is perfectly fine for us to achieve because what we're gonna do is select the line tool, move to the center, start dragging it up along the vertical axis, then type in 98.5. You'll see down in the bottom corner where it says length, we have 98.5, what we typed in earlier there. Then press enter, and there we have our line of that length. You're then going to want to select the arc tool from this drop down menu up here. Actually, that's not the one you want, you want two point arc. And then you move to the top of the line you just placed, and then to the side perimeter. Create a nice curved shape, like so going to want to orbit around to make sure that it's all good and that looks fine to me as far as a curve goes. Move, select a uh, or actually place a line at the bottom of that curve so what we've created here is that sail type shape which resembles what we were working with when we thought about creating the cone. So then what you're going to want to do is take the arrow tool, select the perimeter of the circle, go to tools, select follow me, and then select that circle and there you go half a sphere now the bottom of the sphere needs to be closed out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line from one side of it to the other and that closes the bottom face delete the line then to keep it nice and clean and there we go half sphere with a slightly little pointy bit at the top which probably means that my length was not a hundred percent perfect it was probably more along the lines of 98 or even 97.5 but looks good enough for me. So what we need to do now to create a full sphere is duplicate the half sphere, flip it upside down and then collect, connect the two parts together in a perfect fashion so it forms a seamless sphere. So step one, highlight what we created earlier. You're going to want to copy this. You can go, if you're using a Mac, you can select Command C and then Command V to create a copy of that half spherical shape. What you're then going to want to do is you're going to want to right click on it and then you want to do flip along blue direction and what that will do is turn that half sphere upside down. Then what you're going to want to do is highlight, I'm going to choose to highlight the top portion. You're going to want to select the move tool, click one of the points, one of the end points of a line press it and then move it over so it meets one of the endpoints of the flipped over sphere. Let go and connect them. So there we have our fully formed sphere but we're not done yet because what we need to do is merge the internal faces and in order to do that you're going to highlight everything. You're going to right click. You're going to say you're going to say intersect faces with model. And that should be reasonably good. So in order to check and make sure that this is a solid shape, I'm going to go to Tools and Solid Inspector. I have one internal face, which I tried to remove earlier, but this extension will fix it for me. No errors. Everything is shiny. A-OK. -okay. So that's how you create a sphere or a spherical looking shape. Method one. I'm going to show you the easier way to create a sphere now. Select the circle shape from the top toolbar. Move the uh, cursor over the origin and drag it out to what dimension you'd like your sphere to be. My radius of this sphere is going to be 30 millimeters. You're then going to want to select the arrow tool and select that shape you just laid down. 
Then select the move tool, well, the rotate tool, which looks like two arrows chasing each other in a circle. Move to the center, uh, the origin point. Select hold down option. If you're using a Mac, you'll see that there's a plus sign which appears. You're also going to want to click the left arrow. Now, what that does is it moves the rotation point so it's perpendicular with the green axis. Notice if I press up, it moves flat. If I press right on the right arrow, it moves so that rotation is perpendicular to the red axis, but let's stick to perpendicular to green. So once I have this here and I'm still holding down option, I'm going to click once and I'm going to draw out a line parallel to red, press, and then rotate my copy of a shape 90 degrees. In the bottom right you'll see 90. Once I've done this, I should have two interlocking um, flat circles. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to take the arrow tool, the selection tool, select the perimeter of one of those um, circles. I'm going to hold down shift so I can make a multi-line selection. So here, the whole perimeter is highlighted. Then I'm going to go to tools, follow me, and then select the other two-dimensional circle, circle interlocking with that flat vertical plane. Click once, and there is my sphere. Now, you'll see that it's dark gray, and what that means is SketchUp's interpreting this whole sphere as an inter ex internal face, when we really need it to be an external face. So we're going to select the arrow tool, highlight everything. We're going to right click. We're going to say reverse faces. And then we're going to go to tools, solid inspector, to make sure everything's all good. And it looks like we have one internal face, which luckily for us, the app can clean up. Select fix. And there you go. Arguably, the second sphere is easier to make and more accurate than the first.